Adobe Illustrator offers you many ways to distort and displace objects and typography into shapes, from meshes to warp effects. In this movie, we're going to look at the envelope distort that's located under the Objects menu. Okay, so let's look at envelope distort. These complex patterns that you see here, they were created with the envelope distort. I think they're really beautiful. There's a nice sense of rhythm and depth and dimension to them. So let's get started. I'm going to change the layer and I have a couple of shapes drawn out. I've got the word typography and a line pattern that was created using the pen tool uh, and then just drawn out to a half point, step and repeated 25 times. The envelope distort. Uh, the key to the envelope distort is to have the shape that you want to map your object to on the top level of the stacking order. That means the shape is above your, in this case, above the word typography. Come up to the object menu, envelope distort, make with top object, and it automatically maps the word typography into our shape. We can get rid of that. Let's, uh, let's now look at this. So this shape was created with uh, the pen tool. I made an upper and a lower curve, reflected it, and then just joined it. We have this shape. I'm going to select both objects um, with the keyboard shortcut command option C. I can map my pattern into the shape. And if you notice, right, there's a lot of inconsistencies within the line. It's not that smooth. And this can be easily fixed. Uh, come back to envelope distort and envelope options. The fidelity slider is at default at 50. We can move this up to 100 and we can turn our preview on and you can see now everything is nice and smooth and even. Um, to make those guilloche patterns that we saw on the previous layer, I'm going to open up the brushes palette. I'm just going to drag this in. I'm going to create a pattern brush and say OK. This dialog box gives you the options to change the uh, corner options, the outside corner. I'm going to try the auto between. And then the inside corner, I'll do the auto centered. Um, leave the stretch to fit. We can flip uh, across the X and Y axis, the pattern. We can even scale it. All of this I'm going to leave as is. I'm going to say OK. If we want to adjust it later, we can just double click on our pattern and this dialog box launches. Um, so we, we don't really need this anymore. We can get rid of that. And we can start to draw out some, some shapes. Uh, let's, we can draw out a circle and see what we get. We can just map our, our brush uh, to the circle. Let's pull this out a little bit more. And you can see that it's now mapping our line pattern to that circle. We can draw out a rectangle. And let's see what we get. There's another pattern. We can even do a polygon if we want. Let's make some room. Actually, let's get rid of this and our polygon. Let's move this in. We can move our rectangle over and let's select our polygon and see what we get. Um, some really nice, beautiful patterns, really nice rhythm, really nice uniformity to them, some nice deep dimension. Uh, we can color these lines. Uh, all you have to do is come to Object, Expand Appearances, and the brush is now released, and now they're individual vector lines. Uh, we can ungroup these objects and um, be able to select them in segments, ungroup them again, and then uh, un and select the individual uh, lines. So this is the envelope distort. Have fun with it. There's a lot of opportunity with it.